All right, folks. In the last video, we talked about how to create uh, a pattern, a design pattern. And uh, this is how we talked about the design patterns of dashboards, trends, and details with the summary of KPIs, MTD, YTD, the trend analysis, and then what if analysis also would come here with the transaction details. Now, um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can create these kind of dashboards by yourself using some templates. Now, before we go on to the templates, let me explain you what a template looks like. In order to create a template for yourself, when you are in a project, I would strongly recommend that you create templates so that the look and feel, the design, the aesthetics for all the dashboards and uh, various elements in a project looks the same. So in order to do that, uh, what you need to do is uh, go to File, go to Export, and click on the Power BI template. Here, you type any description. So BDCS Soother template. I named this template as a Soother template. You can name anything else. It's just a description, right? And uh, click on OK. And then uh, you, can, uh, you can save this live project template and click on save. I already have the templates available. So the extension of a Power BI template is PBIT, which is Power BI template files. Now, once the template is created, you can reuse those templates to create the dashboards. Now, let me show you how you can download those templates. Uh, there is a Google Drive link in the description section of the video below in which uh, you have multiple templates and please note that every week I'm gonna release one template. So this week, the first template I'm gonna talk about is the Soother template for Power BI dashboards. Uh, this can be found under the link. You would be here, click on the, you would be here when you click on the link in the description, then click on project, dashboard templates, and you would find all the templates, what we have there out for you. Now, once you download the template, keep it in any location. And then uh, I'm talking about again, Soother template today. So double click it and it's gonna open up the file. Now please note that uh, if the files are in a correct location and everything is good, it's gonna open up with data, which I already showed you. However, uh, I'm gonna show you steps when the files location and everything is incorrect. All right, so if the file location is correct for you, then it's gonna open up with the right data and you would see everything magically working. If this is not correct, that means if your files are not in the right location, you would see something like this, which is not really good, right? You have fix this, fix this, and stuff like that. Now, what you can do is you can go in to your edit queries and you know bring in your model or create your own model if you want to reuse my data set so this is for your project right i mean if you are doing a project you can take this file and then replace all of these charts with whatever you like and i'm going to show you in a few videos how you can create some good looking uh, visuals and uh, dashboards now, so if you're trying to use this template, please feel free to use it. Uh, just wanted to make sure that you're aware that uh, there would be a tag there. But if you want to get a template without this tag, just feel free to contact me and give me a reason of you know what, what you're gonna use it for. If yes, I'm gonna give it to you for free, no charges at all. But if you're doing for your uh, school work, college work, I would request you to have this uh, uh, detail there as well. Now, assuming that you're not using this for your project, but you're using this as a hands-on, but still you're getting an error like this. So what you need to do is go to edit queries and you would see all the tables which I have asked you to upload in the previous videos and click on data source settings and make sure that you click on edit permissions, or sorry, change source, and change the source where it is coming from. 
So as soon as you change the source where it is coming from, it's gonna get you the data you want in the reports. I repeat, if you are trying to follow these exercises and you are unable to get the data and still you are able to see something like this, then what you need to do is go to edit queries, go to data source settings and click on change source and then navigate or browse to the location where your workbooks are kept. All right, so make sure that you do that. Once you do it, just say close and apply and you would see the data appearing in the dashboard as is. Now, let me show you how we can create a dashboard using this template. So what I would do is, remember the high level architecture, dashboard trends and details. So let us focus on the first high level dashboards. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say duplicate page and here I'm gonna say cost analysis. Cost and profit analysis. So here I'm going to change this. I'm gonna say cost, profit analysis dashboard. Or you can you can just get rid of this term dashboard. Whatever whatever works for you. And then these are the KPIs. So you can click on this one and change this. So let's say I want to have the cost here. So I can remove this or just add cost, doesn't matter. So I would just be focused on the cost. I'm going to remove this. You can see the cost is there. Then let's talk about quantity. So I want to have quantity here. So I'm going to add quantity like this in these dashboards and I'm going to rename this. You can see that how everything is so simple already created for you. And then in few next few videos, I'm gonna show you how to create a template itself. You know, that is how you manage your own good template uh, going forward. Now, here in the gross profit section, I wanna keep it as gross profit and here. Here it says sales by city. I'm going to change it by cost by city or add one more visual, right? So let's first change this by cost. So you have sales, you replace this by cost. How easy it is, right? I mean, it's everything is almost done. All you have to do is just work on tiny bits and pieces. So sort it based on cost and you would see cost. The title here can be renamed by going to the format go to the title and say cost by city. Next here in this map also remove or replace sales by cost as simple as that. And then in this section also, wherever you see sales, remove the sales and put cost and then sort it based on cost. Now, if, I, if you don't like this visual, or maybe you wanna add one more visual to it, just minimize this. And here in this playing area, you can add visuals. So for example, let me add a pie chart. And here is the pie chart. I'm gonna expand it a bit like this. And then as I'm doing cost analysis, I'm also going to find out what is my cost values and from the from the customer I'm going to take customer name or maybe product because cost is related to product I'm going to say product type or maybe product name depends upon what you want to do so you can see that this is my cost, so cost of Acer versus Samsung, and then you can change the colors here. Uh, you can change the data colors to fit the complex the the complexion of uh, of this dashboard. So I want to keep it very simple. I don't want to kind of you know do a lot of uh, changes here. So let's pick this color, maybe a bit darker, and then. Uh, you know, you can, you can change the color. Make sure 
whenever you're doing any project, the colors are matching to your themes. And again, change the theme if you feel like, you know, doesn't matter. So make sure it matches to the theme and it all looks a blended color. Now, please note that because the template is built in such a way that the drill through would work. So right click here, the drill throughs will work as it is. So I can go to details and boom, the details are working. So I'm gonna show you in detail uh, in the next video, we are gonna do another template. And by the way, you can download this uh, PBIX file as I'm gonna save it so that you remember what I saved as. I'm gonna say uh, Power BI dashboard using Soother template. So you can download this from the same location as you have in the description section of the video below. Now guys, please subscribe to this channel for more videos. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna release a template every week. Thank you.